Welcome to the Girl Scouts of Southern Nevada Leading Your Level Training for DAISY Volunteers. Today we'll learn what is a DAISY, what do DAISIES do, the Girl Scout Leadership Experience, DAISY Development, and we'll take a look ahead. What is a DAISY? The Girl Scout program begins when a girl is age five and in kindergarten. Daisies are registered Girl Scouts in kindergarten or first grade, and they are the youngest Girl Scout age level. Daisies wear uniforms to display their badges, petals, leaves, and other insignia, and to show they're a part of the Girl Scout movement. The daisy uniform is a blue smock or vest and can be accompanied with a white shirt and blue pants or skirt or khaki pants or skirt. What do daisies do? Daisies earn badges, leaves, and petals. The daisy petals make up the daisy flower. The center of the daisy flower represents the promise. Each petal represents a line of the law. There are three steps to earn each petal. Leaves are awards surrounding financial literacy for daisies and often can relate to the product programs like the cookie program. Badges are awards that can be earned on topics like civics, STEM, art, and the outdoors. These can connect easily with journeys or other activities your girls might be interested in. You see here, the blue center of the daisy flower is all about girls learning about the Girl Scout promise. Each petal covers a different topic of the Girl Scout law, like being courageous and strong or making the world a better place. The white flower-shaped badges cover everything from being a good neighbor to taking action in your community. And the green leaves cover financial literacy topics like making choices and running a business. A journey is a leadership experience that encourages girls to take action in their world while they learn new things and earn awards and badges. There are journey books for girls and adult guides for leaders that can be used to facilitate the journey, and information about journeys can be found on the volunteer toolkit. Journeys can be done in a variety of ways, whatever works best for your girls. They can be done over several short meetings, one or two longer events, and alongside other activities and programs. These end in a take action project where girls go about their community to make the world a better place. There are seven different journey topics for daisies. It's your story, tell it. It's your planet, love it. It's your world, change it. Think like an engineer. Think like a citizen scientist think like a programmer, and the outdoor journey. There are additional awards that daisies can earn. The Summit Award is earned when a girl completes three journeys in a single age level. The My Promise, My Faith Award is earned when girls do activities that connect the Girl Scout promise and law to their own religious beliefs. The Global Action Award is an international award that girls can earn when they do activities that focus on a set topic for that year. Past topics include literacy and education for girls. The World Thinking Day Award is an international award that encourages girls to think about the world around them and learn about new cultures. The Cookie Activity Pin is earned when girls participate in the cookie program. And the Daisy Safety Award is earned when girls learn all about ways to keep themselves and others safe, like recognizing what to do in an emergency and basic first aid. Juliet Gordon Lowe said, This badge is not a reward for something you have done once or for an examination you have passed. Badges are not medals to wear on your sleeve to show what a smart girl you are. A badge is a symbol that you have done the thing it stands for often enough, thoroughly enough, and well enough to be prepared to give service in it. 
this is a good time to remind everyone that a girl is no more or less a Girl Scout because of the awards she has earned. Girls are encouraged to learn new things and seek out experiences that are interesting to them, not to just gather badges and petals to have them displayed on their vest. A girl is just as much a Girl Scout if she has every single badge and petal as the girl who only has one or two. There are a variety of resources for troop leaders and Girl Scout volunteers. First, encourage family support. Girl Scouting should be a family affair, and it's great to get the caregivers and other members of the family involved in their girls' experiences. Your service unit, which is a community of Girl Scout adult volunteers that come together to put on programs for girls as well as to hold meetings for leaders to get resources and support. They are a great connection for leaders in your community so that you can get information and knowledge from your peers. The Volunteer Toolkit is an online portal by GSUSA that can help you plan your meetings and update your finances and troop rosters. Safety Activity Checkpoints is the guiding safety document for Girl Scouting, and it can tell you everything from how to include girls with disabilities into an activity to what ages it is appropriate to complete an activity. Volunteer Essentials is our guiding book of policies and procedures, and it's recommended that all volunteers review this every year when new updates are released. The program and training guide includes many of the programs and trainings available for adults and girls to participate in here at Girl Scouts of Southern Nevada. And there are girl guides and journey books that you can find to help you guide the girls through the Girl Scout leadership experience. The Girl Scout leadership experience also called the GSLE, is what we refer to when we talk about the Girl Scout program. The Girl Scout Leadership Experience has three keys, discover, connect, and take action. And it has three program processes, girl-led, learning by doing or experiential learning, and cooperative learning. When you take the three program processes and the three keys and put those together, you come to the middle section, which is our short-term outcomes. These are a strong sense of self, positive values, challenge seeking, healthy relationships, and community problem solving. Add all of those things together and you get our long-term outcome, which is our Girl Scout mission statement. Girl Scouts builds girls of courage, confidence, and character who make the world a better place. The Girl Scout Leadership Experience has two parts that come together to make the GSLE. Skill building activities like badges, petals, and leaves, and leadership building activities like journeys. All of those things together, including all of the activities like field trips and the cookie program, come together to make the Girl Scout Leadership Experience, or the GSLE. Girl-led programming is an important part of the GSLE. Girls are never too young to help with the decisions of the troop. Yes, that even means daisies. Starting girl-led programming early sets the tone for stronger girl-led planning in the future. Girls should be empowered to make many of the troop's decisions as a group. When activities are girl-led, participation increases, and girls are more engaged in Girl Scouts. Having a girl-led troop doesn't mean you're totally turning the troop over to the daisies. Start small and let their involvement grow with them. Ask them questions. Find out what they're interested in and go from there. Take votes and surveys to see what activities or badges they'd be interested in doing. Developmentally, girls in kindergarten and first grade do best with two to three choices. You don't want to overwhelm them with a lot of choices, but you still don't want to just make the decision for them. 
As the girls grow, older girls should be doing the lion's share of the planning. So as your girls get older, your role as a leader should get smaller. But you can't have this happen unless you start when they're young. The Daisy Circle. It's important to establish a troop government or structure to help you facilitate girl-led participation and experiences. Girls create formal decision-making bodies and often vote to finalize decisions. This also sets time aside for girls to express their ideas and talk about the activities they enjoy. Leaders play an active role in facilitating the discussion and planning. It's a great opportunity to recap, discuss what they have learned, and to get an idea of what your girls are interested in doing in the future. Daisy Development Every Girl Scout is unique, and they have different needs, interests, and levels of development. Some girls might exhibit traits of slightly older girls, while others may still be developing. It's important to keep in mind the differences in their emotional, social, physical, and intellectual characteristics. At the DAISY level, girls socially want approval and support of their peers and adults. They prefer to work in small groups, and they're interested in making up roles and leaders. They like people to be in charge. Emotionally, they're beginning to use and understand words for what they're feeling. They understand the rules and they want to be good, and they seek praise and encouragement. Physically, they are very energetic. They never quite stop moving. But they're still developing their fine motor skills, so some activities may be too difficult for them. They cannot sit or stay still for long periods of time, so it's good to include physical activities in your troop meetings and Girl Scout activities to get that energy out. Intellectually, they're concrete thinkers who are focused on the right now. It's hard for them to think about things that have happened in the past or in the future too specifically. They're beginning to write, read, and spell, and they question everything. Now, we'll take a look ahead to brownies the age level that follows the daisies. What do brownies do? Brownies still have journeys and badges, and their journeys are things like the wonders of water or the world of girls. They have badges like brownie first aid, snacks, celebrating community, and money managers. And there are a variety of activities and experiences that our brownies can have here at Girl Scouts of Southern Nevada. At the end of the daisy age level, girls bridge to the next level, or bridging to becoming brownies. There are two steps to earning the bridging award. First, they should pass it on. This is when they share their talents and skills by teaching younger daisies. They should teach them the promise and law, talk about the flower friends and the petals, and play a daisy game together. And then the second step is looking ahead. They should spend some time with older brownie sisters, talk about the promise and law as daisies and brownies, ask their favorite brownie song and sing it together, and talk about journeys and making the world a better place. The best way to find a troop to help you partner with these bridging activities is to go to your service unit and find girls in your community who also need to pass it on or look ahead. Thank you for taking Leading Your Level with Girl Scouts of Southern Nevada. Please complete the following form to receive credit for this training. This link is available below this video in the video description. If you have any questions or need any support, please do not hesitate to contact us. Thank you.